You know, he was <laughs> booing the crowd when he saw us. With his he go to war with people who had peace with him. How does that sound? How do you go to war with people? We don't even do that with heathens. Because if I'm mistaken, it was Tyrus, Tyree, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the one who, no, the one who built the uh, King Solomon's pork, I mean, a uh, temple in the oh, Lord's house. I remember this. Yeah, because I believe he had a son or something like that. W was it the one who shaved off their beards? You know, King David. Yeah, those, those, those were the Ammonites. Okay, come on. Well, yeah, but they remember that because they was in peace at first. That's why, um, you know, um, you know, he sent those um, his messengers because they was at peace. But the so-called white man, my point of saying that is because the so-called white man, he go to peace with niggas that he go to war with niggas that's at peace with him. We're yeah. not going to do that in the kingdom of heaven. You feel me? The heathens, they gonna be y'all. Yeah, y'all better chill out. We, you know. Yeah, unless they go off. Yeah, unless they go off, right? Then we go roll on them. It ain't gonna be a war though. So like, I just like I land Yeah. yeah. And, uh, the scriptures talk about uh, women that, that render good for evil. Yeah, right. Good. Yeah, Isaiah. And that's what they do. They render evil for good, man. Mm -hmm. You know, here it is. The Taino Indians, the, the northern <clears throat> American Indians, the Gadites, the Reubenites, Seminole Indians, man, helped them out, helped them survive, you know. And here it is. They, in return, gave them smallpox diseases, gave them, you know, uh, 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 you know pretty much uh, 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 sickened them, man. You know, destroyed the buffalo, made them walk. Made them migrate, really. You know, everything, man. Exactly. Right. Work for them. So you render an evil for good. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. Yeah, right. Because when that so-called white man came over, he was on the brink of death, right? Mm -hmm. What's the good that Jake did to him? They turned him out of crop and shit, right? They nourished him up, right? They was on the brink of death. You know, like they show you those commercials with the hungry kids. They skinny as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Give me a bread. Can I have a slum? Fucked up, you know. You can see they back. You can see they they, they spine through their stomach. Just That's like how he saw it. Just like the Moors go stuck. Moors cleaned up. Hey, tell me. Oh, come, come. Taught him how to hold a fork. You know, hikes. You know, he saw it. You got no hikes. Yeah. You know. He did. Hey, man. He saw it. All he saw it do. Yup. All he saw it do is take it, give him, and then try to use it again. He said he knew the money do it. Yeah, they was walking on all fours, though. Yeah, right. He yeah, because they, yeah, they was good. Yeah, that's how it was. Because we're going to uh, Job the 30th chapter. It said they braid in the camillos and things like that. They braid in the bush. Go ahead. I was about to say, personal te testimony. I remember at the job, I seen an Edomite little girl running on all fours. Like, she was running fast on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> right, they show you that in the movie. Um, uh, what's that movie, Cruds? It is a one movie, man, with uh, Nicolas Cage. It's an uh, animated uh, uh, movie. The crew, you see that they live in the cage? You see that, right? Yeah, That's yeah. where the Esau. Yeah. No, you can see that? Yeah, come That's on. a spiritual movie, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a children's movie, but it's a spiritual movie. Right. Yeah, it's real life. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, no. Yeah, right, because the crust, they showed, they depicted that in an animated movie. All right, but it was the Edomites, they lived in a fucking cave, bro. And they were scared to leave out of there, bro. And it was the end of the world, and they were about to get burnt up. So they, yeah, that is, bro. But go ahead. It's a rock, chapter 24, verse 8. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest, and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob, and thy inheritance in Israel. Right, so Lord... The Lord basically commanded wisdom to, uh, to dwell amongst the Israelites because that's, that's, that's the nation he chose, uh, you know, to be for him. Uh, the yeah, the representation of the, of the nation of the Heavenly Father. The representation of the Lord. Right. Right. On the planet Earth. Right. Psalms. Psalms 4 and 3. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly. Ah, right, he set apart him that is godly, right? So in this case, that would be the elect, because he separated them from the world, the world, the world, as in you know uh, the, these heathen customs, everyday living, you know everything, everything that Esau would expect you to do. You wake up. He separated the elect away from the ordinary uh, movements of the world for him, for himself. The Lord, so like for Himself, right? Because that's who He chose. He chose Israel for for people into Himself, as the Scripture says. It says, uh, yeah, the, the Lord said that there's a peculiar people, right? Uh, that word peculiar mean like a one's possession, right? When you go into that word, 
and they'll procure you a, 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 a royal priesthood. That's what the Lord said about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Central Indians. The people on the side right there, he said they, they're a peculiar people, meaning possession, meaning they belong to the to the Lord, who the world and we call God and Jesus Christ, man. All right? Who Hebrew name is what? It's Yahweh Shah. All right? Okay? So a royal priesthood. Go ahead. Which meaning we all the men of the nation of Israel are supposed to be priests. They're supposed to preach the word of the Lord. Not like the Christians do in the um, Christian church, man. All right? Or the Baptist or the Methodist church. Or the Seventh-day Adventist church. Or Kingdom Hall. All right? They put a preacher how the prophets and the disciples and apostles of old did. How the one they really called Jesus Christ did. All right? He ain't preaching like that. How they do it in, in this modern day and time. You got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, the Lord will hear when I call unto him. Yeah, because right, the Lord said, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Right, he's going to hear Jacob's cry. Right. When we when we come back to the Lord, you know, when we forsake our wicked ways, when we mortify the old man, you know, and we come back into these law, statute, commandments, that's a cry. And the Lord hear that, you know. And through right. the Spirit, Lord willing, you know, the brothers that's in this truth, sincere, be part of the elect, he's not going to forsake, he's not, he not going to forsake uh, those that come back into him, man. The Lord never forsake the righteous. Coming back in the truth is a righteous act, man. That's a righteous lifestyle that, that, that you live when you come in, in, in this knowledge. That's why so, uh, who have called upon his name, or he has despised him. Yeah. Right? Like the scripture say, man. Or 210. So that's our 210. Let me read this right quick. This is all uh, because he said the Lord will hear us, right? St. John. I got it. I got it. That's good, too. What religion is this? This is St. John chapter. Uh, Oh, now, verse uh, 31, it said, Now we know that the Most High, Yahweh, hears not sinners. Right, so if you're a sinner and you pray to the Lord, the Lord don't really hear you, man. All right? Who's sinners, man? The people that's under the, co the, the covenant of uh, the first covenant, man. Going back to Moses in the Mount Sinai, man. We brought the children of Israel out of, out of the land of Egypt. So that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Central Indians. If you're a sinner, the Lord don't hear your prayers. Those niggas that's in the Baptist church at the Word Church today, the Lord don't hear none of them prayers up in there, man, because they all sinners. And then the thing about it is they don't admit their sins. They say that they don't have no sins in the Christian church, right? All right? So the Lord said you're supposed to, uh, you, you're supposed to uh, admit your sins, and the Lord is, is, is merciful enough to forgive thee, man. You're supposed to admit your fault. That's what a real man do. So all those people in these Christian churches throughout the four corners of the, the, the world, man, the Lord ain't hearing their prayers right now, man. Huh. Even furthermore, man, St. John 9 and uh, 31, now we know that God heals not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and do of his will, help me hear. What's the will of the Heavenly Father who they early called God and Jesus Christ? If you're an Israelite man of the nation of Israel, you're supposed to push this word. You're supposed to tell our people to come back into the laws, that's the commandments of the Bible, and follow them to the best of their ability. We know everybody can't follow all the laws in the Bible, but the ones that you can, the ones that you have control over, you know, those are the ones that you're supposed to adhere to. You hear me? And even the ones that you, 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 you're supposed to try, man. The Lord said we rehearse in the righteous act. Niggas always talking about we grace. That's what the Christian church tells you. We under grace, though. We under grace. Nigga, we can rehearse it, though. It's not a... Yeah, that, 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 that's right, brother. That's right. Like the brother said. Because when you, you, yeah, you rehearse, you get better, huh? That's right, brother. Yep, when you rehearse, you get better. That's a great point. Like, like the brother said. All the he did. Now he a hell of an actor, man. Yeah. Like, and that's what that's what it's about, man. Because of, hey, what elder? Uh, I think uh, Malcolm was saying when you do so for 21 days. Yeah, it come. Yeah, it's, it's come a habit. habit. It's a habit. Yeah, it's a habit. All right, that's why you know, brothers, you know, the Sabbath and you know the high holy days and camp. All right, you know, you, you rehearsing the righteous acts. And man. not breaking the the, the 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 laws of the Bible. Not eating pork. Not eating shrimp. Not getting lined up. Okay, you know what else? Like, uh, one, one habit, or you know, as far as you know, just like uh, saying, you know, certain, you know. Uh, Phrases and statements, you know, in Hebrew. Like instead of uh, sometimes, yeah. you know, sometimes yeah. you'll uh, like catch yourself, you know, having a conversation, you know, you know, either with like a two third or someone in the world. Uh, like, sometimes, like, even, like you won't even like, oh, they'll, they'll get what you're saying, you know, or, you know, just like spirit for some reason, but like you just like catch yourself, like, like instead of saying, you know, like sorry or something, you say like sloppy or something. Yeah. Numbers chapter eleven, verse twenty nine. And Moses said unto him, If he is thou for, for my sake, with Yahweh, that all the Lord's people were prophets in the Lord, 
will put his spirit upon them. And hey. Moses, no, go ahead. Verse 30, and Moses say, got him what into the camp. Paul said, right? He said that he would, that we were all, uh, what he said? Moses. That's the point. That's yeah. why I was saying that. Come. Yeah. yeah, but you got it. It says, verse 30, and Moses got him into the camp, he and the elders of Israel. Right, so if you're an able-bodied individual, and then on the side, you know, an Israelite, you know, an able-bodied individual, you ain't got no ailment that's infracting you from doing the work, you're supposed to be out here prophesying. That's why he said he, he would that all of Israel would prophesy. Yeah, a prophet is one who foretells something that's coming. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, we out here foretelling that, you know, Israel would prophesy. Right. 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 But for the sake that uh, our Lord and Savior, who looks like this image and not this image, is coming to bring death and destruction. For sooner than right. Matthew 10 and 34. And that's in the New Testament, by the way, so you can't refute it, you know. People who, uh, who don't accept, you know, the entire Bible. But aside from that, he said, think not that I come to say peace. I came not to say peace, but a sword, man. And a sword is used for what? For death, for destruction, man. To kill during the time of war, in which we see brewing up, man. Which we out here for telling you what's coming. The war to end all wars, World War III. Nuclear destruction, man. All right? The stocks is fluctuating. We already tell you the dollar bill's about to be collapsed. Oh, yeah. We tell you about the RFID chip. That's yeah. what a prophet does, man. And they, they act like a broken record. They go over oh, the same Ezekiel things over and over. 17. Going over the same prophecy. In the man. times, in the times. So we ain't out here talking about King David with no damn seven. We are here telling you about the destruction. That's what you see on this inside. And it comes into the ballistic missile, man. America will soon be destroyed by fire. That's all yeah, prophetic, that's man. You know? Don't say you say in Sirach 39 and 1, you know, he that gives his mind to the law of the most high is occupying the prophecies, man. So that's where your focus should be. The scripture says in 2 Peter 3 and 10, which is a prophecy in and of itself, how all the elements shall be dissolved and burned. You know, uh, uh, they said they're going to be dissolved. Okay, that's going back to Isaiah as well. How this thing will be clean, dissolved, and going to the mushroom cloud. Okay, but in the Second Peter 3 and 10, he said, looking for a hasten to the coming of the day of our Lord. He said, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation of godliness, man? This is the manner of persons you ought to be. If you are able by the individual prophet, man, I serve the Lord as he commands you to do, man. Read that. In Numbers 11, 29, we just read it, man. Amen. Ezekiel chapter... Matter of fact, start at, uh, four, uh where it say, uh, start at, like, yeah, we do, okay. Ezekiel we chapter it. 3, verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, no, no, no. son of yeah, man. Yeah, wait, so like, what's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Oh, yeah, you're Israelite, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah right. You are the tribe of Ephraim. No, you got a YouTube. Like you said. got a YouTube. All right. Okay, okay, read that. Ezekiel chapter 3, yeah, verse 1. Yeah, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man. So this going into what the brother was just speaking about. If you're an able-bodied man, he says, son of man, if you're an able-bodied Israelite man, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't supposed to be walking around with a three-piece suit towel like Esau with the cane pipping and bopping up this <laughs> shit. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Read it. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat that thou findest. Go ahead. Eat this roll. Right. And go speak unto the house of Israel. Right, so it's the, the role is talking about the scriptures, right? So you're supposed to spiritually uh, 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 consume this, uh, these laws, that's the commandments, this, this word, the scriptures, man. Right, the Old Testament from the New, he said, go speak unto who? The house of Israel, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Assemblies, the Puerto Ricans, the Panamanians, the Guatemalans, the Colombians.